Good morning everyone! It is 10 in the morning and technically it would have even been a little bit later because the time changed but today is November 1st and what does that mean for us? Christmas is here! <laughs> Jules and I are packing up all of our fall things. It's going in a box and we're getting out our Christmas tree and our Christmas decor because every November 1st it's our tradition, mine and Jules's, that we turn our house into a winter wonderland. And I don't want to hear any comments about how this is too early because in COVID there are no rules guys so feel free to put up that Christmas tree. I think we can all use a little extra cheer this year. So we are just going to be basically slaving away all day to make this house look gorgeous. We're going to be put, we are going to be putting up the Christmas tree, our Christmas village, the Christmas tree in our room, getting our little decor out everywhere, things like that, centerpieces. So I just wanted to do this video in a vlog style and take you guys along with us as we decorate for Christmas this year. So here's one of the boxes of our Christmas village. Jules and I just moved the couch and we set up this little rug of fake snow and it's gonna look so pretty with the village behind. This village has been a village for years in the making. My mom would constantly collect these pieces. Some of them are super old and some of them are actually really new. If you have a small collection, guys, don't feel sad because just every year maybe buy one or two new pieces and eventually you'll have a huge village. Ours is gonna be full so we really won't have room for any more but if I ever do see a cute one, I can't can't resist. So Jules and I are about to set up the Christmas so village excited. right now. I have my part where I set up sort of the old school ones, you set up the more modern yeah. ones. We come together and we make it look super magical, so. And this is one of our favorite things because since we were kids, my mom would always have a village and it's just really cute because it all lights up, some things move, and I remember just being like, so like mystified by it yeah. as a kid because like you're looking in the houses and like I just love a village. Like it's I so always enchanted. will have one. It's so yeah. enchanting. You almost feel like you're a giant just looking at this cute little Christmas it's so village. like cozy it's and so majestic. I, I think it's villages. honestly almost as important as the Christmas tree for oh, me. Oh yeah, Christmas we need village. a village yeah. like it's when beautiful. we like go our separate ways and move out. We, we, we still talk about we're like who's getting what. We're like we're gonna have to like yeah. divvy up the village and like obviously yeah. add to our collection. Of course. Because we have a huge village. You're gonna see yes. when it's done. It's really nice. I love it. So let's go. Let's get started. This will probably take about half an hour at least. I'm already tired. I know. And like we haven't even started just like getting the boxes like organizing. We just keep getting more and more Christmas things so it's a little overwhelming. Every year we have more things to do. So first up, the Christmas village. So just taking the village out, I just noticed that at the bottom of this house, it says copyright 1990, guys. So this little baby is 30 years old and look how pretty and good it still looks. It just goes to show you that sometimes classic things are timeless. So we like to sort of layer the old ones with some of the newer ones and we like to put the tall ones in the back and you'll see that a couple of the shorter ones will go in the front. So right now we're just mixing and matching them until it looks like the village that we like. Then we'll plug it in and light it up and you'll see how cute it is. So now that we pretty much have our basic village done, we're gonna put up some of these trees as filler. You can put them in the front, in the back. It creates a nice ambiance of a true village scene. And you can get things like this at the dollar store as well, guys. So, hi Luna! So we have literally a box of trees and we even have, from many years, these cute little villagers. You can buy these guys as well and we love to put them around. It really makes this village come to life. So you pop in these little guys standing here and it just fills in these empty spots. It's really cute and a great idea to make your village come to life. So now with most of the trees up, these are all of our villagers. How sweet are they? We love to put them around and I kind of sort of try to match them to the area <laughs> that I think they would be at. So this little guy building a snowman, he'd probably build a snowman near this Christmas tree. So cute. Oh, he got her a little present at the toy store. How cute. This Santa looks so old when you compare him to some of these more modern characters. This one is definitely probably from the 80s or 90s, I would say. With the houses lit up and all the little villagers and trees in place, it looks absolutely beautiful. We have all the little Christmas village necessities like the post office and the churches and the department stores, the inn. Look how cute they are. You can actually see inside and there's a florist inside, books and another little church with carolers singing inside. How sweet is this? So I think it looks beautiful and you'll see what it looks like at nighttime. It's even more magical. I love this lady with her little dog walking. She's so cute. She got a fluff. 
Yeah, you blab out of there. Mm. No blab. Don't let her chew it. No. I forgot that he always takes these things and puts them in weird places. No, you cannot do it. No. We've carefully crafted is this village. This year? Is there more? No. It feels like there's it more. It feels like there is. I know. It's, it's the same. Did we do a good job, me and Jules, so far? Lovely. Ooh. Fur, fur, furry deer. <laughs> We're very festive, guys. Keep in mind, this is the day after Halloween. Look how crazy November 1st. November 1st. Oh, the Santa Claus, my favorite Christmas movie, guys. Honestly, this is easily in my top five list. It's like one of my favorite Christmas movies. Makes me so happy. Can't wait until we don't see any more boxes around and it just looks nice and festive. So the tree is up. We just plugged in the lights and they work. So now we have to fluff it up and then we have to hang the ornaments on this tree. It's a white flock tree, so it's gonna look really nice as opposed to the green one. I think I really like this look and I think it will go really nice with our ornaments because our ornament colors are golds and whites and just pretty simple ornaments and I think it should look really pretty with this tree. So I'm actually very excited to have a new tree this year to show you guys. And I have another tree for my bedroom that's new as well, so I have a couple things this year, which is why I wanted to show you guys how I'm decorating this year for Christmas time. So I'm vlogging and so is Jules, so go ahead and follow her channel so you can watch her video as well. Doing the worst part guys, fluffing out this Christmas tree. You have to make sure there's no bald patches and then if there are we just cover them with Christmas decorations and we have a lot to choose from so you'll see. And this tree is actually the thinnest tree we probably had. Our other yeah. one was like really wide and thick. <laughs> this, Which is not good yeah. for a condo. Oh, <laughs> I just love the way it even looks already. Me Look how too. pretty it looks guys and we're covered in snow. We're yeah. covered in snow from head to toe. So guys, part of making our tree look really pretty is adding these little fillers. A lot of these are from the dollar store. You can also get them from HomeSense. And then you really just take them and place them into the tree, cover any bald spot areas, and also make your tree look a little bit more lively and whimsical. Areas that you wanna make it look a little bit more full. Look, you just pop that in. And doesn't that look so pretty? It already looks actually really nice. And this is even without the decorations yet. So just pop a couple of these in first. I think honestly, all of these we pretty much got from the dollar store. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to have your tree looking absolutely beautiful. A lot of the filler we truly love to get at the dollar store because it is so affordable. So the tree already looks a lot more full and lively. And this is without the majority of the decorations. So can you imagine? So in this box is a lot of our dollar store ornaments. A lot of the ones that are they don't break easily because they just look pretty and of course I recommend getting different sizes because really big baubles and then also little ones just create a nicer look to your Christmas tree. It gives a bit of a variety. And then in here we have some of our more expensive ones or precious decor items right in here. They're yeah they're glass so you have to be very careful with these. We have our star from our tree. This one guys this star I remember ever since I was a little girl. <laughs> My mom has had this for so long. Vintage. It's very vintage, so this is very sentimental as well. So a lot of our really nice decorations, the more expensive pieces are in here. You go, this one doesn't even need to be hanging off a branch. You just here. tuck it in to cover any bald spot areas and it looks great. This one, just literally tuck in. It sits very nicely and look, we didn't even have to hang it. It adds it extra stay, dimension. Yeah, very pretty. So after when you have all of your filler in the tree and it's looking full, I recommend putting your favorite decorations up front. This is seriously one of my favorite decorations. I love it and it's quite old. So put your favorite ones up top, right at eye level, and then everything else can just go dispersed throughout the tree. Can you guys tell what our favorite color is? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have a tree skirt. So for now, I'm just taking this blanket and I'm wrapping it around the tree so that you don't see any of the um, stand really so I think it actually kind of looks pretty cute that is a great DIY tree skirt I seriously love putting a blanket underneath so if you guys don't have a tree skirt and you want your tree to look more complete and not see the base of the tree just simply wrap an old blanket or even tablecloth if you guys have just underneath your tree and it will create such a pretty vibe oh my goodness you're amazing you're so sweet sweetie just have a nice little nap okay yeah she ate her lunch and now she's taking a nice Christmas nap
just putting up this tree in the corner here. This is sort of Luna's little tree. It's really cute. The only problem is the lights are not that bright. It comes with these lights that you just tap on. So they do have lights, but it's not as bright as we would like, but it's okay because this is our little extra decorative tree. So we're just putting in some decorations. A lot of these are from the dollar store, pretty much all of them. And they actually look so cute with this little tree. So we're just hanging some things up and then you'll see how this little corner looks. It's Luna's corner, her Christmas corner. Luna's little Christmas corner so far. How cute is that? I love this little Christmas gingerbread house bed. She loves beds like this with like a dome top because she feels safe inside. And her little Christmas tree. Look what daddy got you. Wow, what is Look this? Look what daddy got you. What is this, Luna? Oh my gosh. Are you gonna give me a paw? Yeah, she's giving us a kiss. Good girl. Here. She's gonna be shocked. Look how big it is. Oh my it's bigger than she is. Really oh, than okay. Her. She held it in her mouth the whole time. Good girl, Luna. She's so excited. Oh my gosh. So we're just trying to figure out how to make our front entrance look. We have a couple areas left to do. We have still the table runner left. You can tell things aren't done. We did that little area and now Jules and I are working on this, the lights for the back of this buffet area. So we still have a ways to go. So I'll show you guys the finishing touches once we are complete. Okay, and a nice break in between filming. He got us some nice sushi for lunch. Jules and Attic also got sushi. Attic's on the way now. I made my spicy mayo because I can't have sushi without spicy mayo. Doesn't this look delicious? So the Christmas tree in my room is going up. This is the little four footer. I also got this at Walmart. So I'm about to get all of my ornaments out and decorate. This is going to be my more cutesy, kitschy Christmas tree because you'll see the decorations. Unlike our gold theme, this is like anything goes. Nikita's mom just gave me this ornament. Look how cute it is. It's like a little giraffe head. I love it because it's gold. And this, a little dog and a cat. <laughs> Here are some new ornaments. I have a pizza. How cute is that? I have my little nutcracker, he's adorable. I have this picture frame and I put my little baby Summer inside. I love her, she's my little Christmas angel. I have this teacup, was adorable. It was the last one, Jules wanted it too, but this they only had this one, it was so cute. So I have this little teacup. I have this little cotton candy machine. How adorable is that? And I also have this, and I don't know if I'm gonna hang it on the tree because I think it can almost be an ornament in and of itself, but look. Here are a lot of my random assorted ornaments. I really, really love these globes. I got them a long time ago and I just love them so much. And then in here is more of my cutesy and special ones, like this macaron. Sunday, how cute is that? Do you see what I mean by these are more of the kitschy ornaments? but they're so cute. This is like one of my favorite trees. Aw, I forgot about this. I made this for Nikita for our first Christmas 2019. So this is our second Christmas together. <laughs> cute, eh? I, see. I also have this one for little Summer, my little angel who passed away, I think three years ago now, which is actually crazy to think about, but wow, my little beautiful Summer. So she's always nearby on my Christmas tree. Alexa, turn on the light. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Me and little baby Summer and all of the cutest Christmas decorations in my opinion. The really, really cute decorative pieces are on this tree so you can see it all the way around. And on top, mine and Nikita's first Christmas together, a little ornament to commemorate. Love it. Love the champagne, the caviar, the camera, oh my gosh. Nutcracker, cotton candy, my star at the top. It's just so cute, I love it so much. You guys already saw a lot of the ornaments, but they're very precious, very pretty, and very sentimental to me. Such a magical little Christmas corner. I love my bedroom tree, and I can look at it from my bed. And I have my festive little Ladu Day box, so cute. Guys, it's actually snowing! November 1st, how perfect, right when we put up the tree so nobody can say we're so crazy anymore it's so fitting look at that guys it looks like a winter wonderland out there come on what are the odds what are the odds right when we do our christmas decorations wow it's, it's, it's tree. Yeah, that's what i said yeah. it's very kitsch our tree's gonna look so similar because we, oh so yeah, the the yeah, we have so many of the same yeah we have so many of the same ones oh my, oh my gosh that's how really cute, cute.
most wonderful time of, of the year. year. Jen, you gotta decorate your condo next. Jen just lives upstairs. I'm so excited. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Guys, I'm exhausted. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We did a good job. Good We're job, so tired. Girls. I said what time it was when I started. I think it was like 10.20. Now what time is it? It is 6. 50. So of course we we took breaks. We We're had like exhausted. A, a liner break. I'm not, but, but I'm excited to see this. <laughs> but we're really excited. So we woke up this morning after putting up our Christmas decorations, and it is snowing outside. It had a nice snow overnight, and now there's like a blanket of snow everywhere, and it makes these decorations look perfect. <laughs> right, Luna? So we're so glad we put up the Christmas tree. Sweetie, you look beautiful. I love you. So we have our nice festive little table runner with the tree in the background. You can see little Luna looking outside <laughs> on the snowy day. We also have this little area here, the buffet and the centerpiece. It's very cute. We might change things up a bit as we go shopping for Christmas time, but for now we're just using what we have. You can see this is our front entrance. This is mine and Julia's advent calendar. So Jules got us these advent calendars last year and they're really cute so we're excited to use them. Our beautiful nutcracker right here which we love and this adorable little Santa. He's so cute. We've had this in the family for a really long time so it's nice to still hang on to those old family heirlooms. And this little cute area right by the table so we have access to things we'll actually need, like these little festive napkins, how cute are they? A little cookie jar in there, salt and pepper shakers, and then um, a festive advent calendar that Nikita and I will be using just right in here. We also have some festive little kitchen towels just for the house so things look cute. Stockings as well for when La Befana comes because that's what we celebrate. Coming of La Befana and she fills your stocking with coal if you've been bad, so hopefully I get some chocolate instead. And for Luna's a little area, she has her mini tree and her gingerbread house and she has all of her Christmas toys. We put all of her regular toys away and we just left out a few of her festive Christmas toys. I'm sure we'll be getting more soon. And it looks really cute and she really loves these toys. We put them away every winter so she really looks forward to getting them back again. And here's little Luna looking outside at the snowy day today. With snow, the village has always been my favorite thing growing up as a child. It was so whimsical and magical and really brought alive the spirit of Christmas. So even with the lights off during the daytime, it looks like a beautiful Christmas village. I just love it so much. And lastly, we have a few Christmas mugs that we got out of storage again. We keep these in storage and take them out during Christmas time. Have a sweet Christmas. This is easily one of my favorites. It's so cute for coffee. And then for tea, something a little bit bigger is this gorgeous Nutcracker mug. I got these both at HomeSense. I just love HomeSense for the holidays. How cute is this to cozy up with a nice warm tea, coffee, hot chocolate by the Christmas tree. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this Christmas home tour on how we decorate our house for Christmas time. Jules and I love Christmas, so we really enjoy going all out and making our home feel very festive in almost every corner. So I really hope that this was just a cheerful video for this time of year because Christmas is so cozy and wonderful and truly it doesn't matter what you do for Christmas as long as you are surrounded by your loved ones. So hopefully you will be able to do that in a cozy home as well. So thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> right right, right in the nick of time <laughs> i just said it matters more who you're with for christmas as opposed to what you're doing or what your house looks like so and you're stuck with me <laughs> thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe right merry christmas everyone oh are we under the mistletoe or what <laughs> but look how cute what it's snowing? Oh my gosh, it's snowing.